counter zone. Game one on Smashville, a very dangerous start to the set, but offers a lot of opportunity for both of these guys to explode with their characters. And right off the bat, you just see like Pong playing a whole lot more aggressively than he did before. Just like knowing, okay, in this matchup, I have to be the one to be like pressing the buttons in Young Link's face. I have to be the, the aggressor here. But already working out so well for XGO, getting the down tilt, but um, Pong was able to air dodge before he had gotten hit by the neutral beam. This is the part that I'm the most interested in, is seeing what Pong is able to do once he manages to press extra O to the ledge. Oh, getting a little That's too risky with do. it. <laughs> But Although I do like how Pong just waved it off. He was like, all right, I'm still in it. Normally you see someone sec. SD like that, you're getting a little tilted. Mm -hmm. And still in the zone. And now you just see him like completely mixing up the way he is ledge trapping compared to Terry versus Young Link. Um, you saw him commit to an offstage down a little bit earlier. So this is going to be definitely the most difficult point of the matchup is how is Young Link going to get back to stage? Doesn't have a huge hitbox on the top. Really linear, not a whole lot of distance. Um, and so actually, I was really gonna have to make the most out of the mix. You that know? was really smart. That was also really brave. Yep. He would have waited out the spot dodge. He would have been able to react to it. And he was just, you know what? I'm just gonna grab. Because if it's, if it's like not true. Like, I got it. <gasps> and that is what I mean by the amazing recovery mix. Actually, I was spacing that up perfectly just to make sure he's not getting hit with the neutral air. Um, ready to punt. It. Wow. So brilliant. Especially when you have like a tether grab. You can just get so much out of it. Like, Extra has such a fi fine idea of where to position himself in order to be able to punish anything that Pong has to offer. Mm -hmm. Now, that might be in part to a lot of matchup experience, as there's no shortage of Palo Tennis in the city. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Meanwhile, on Long Island, we do not have a game. Oh my so god, that, that was might give so Extra a little bit of an edge. And I have a question can he down in his own bomb? to get a hitbox extension and bounce off of I, it? Or is that only Link? I think that's Link. That's Link, Because right. you can't really hit the bombs like Okay. That. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just thought for a second that's what actually I was going for. But if that this. was the case, that, that'd be nuts. That'd be so cool. Especially because Young Link's down air is degenerate. And actually, oh, falling out of Pong's neutral air really surprisingly. What I also love in the set so far is how extra O's boomerangs are able to low profile under auto radical and still hit Pong from across the stage whenever he commits to it. That is just the most hilarious interaction to me. Okay. Ooh. I like the patience from Estro. Oh, I feel like he's got so much momentum right behind him. He may as well just continue to press onwards. Like, look at this. Look at he has like so many different setups in mind. Like with the way that he spaced that boomerang, that would have covered a tech out. And then he just set up his body to cover everything else. A little bit too impatient, get off of ledge. He has to be worried that down tilt. And he cannot come back so aggressively unless Pong over commits to something off stage. Like so far this has been a very impressive comeback from Pong, but I'm curious to see like what extra O is going to do to further this match. Because remember, Pong's early SD gave extra O a little bit of uh, assistance in the set. And a very strong read from the ledge is going to give Extra game one, in fact. Yep. Now, Extra has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's not the type of player who needs any bit of help. Yep. So, and no speaking of a bit of help, we got 10 bits. I I'm no, clever. <laughs> Thanks for the dime bit. Probably bad, probably bad, probably bad. I don't know about all that. Probably pulling ahead in this bracket. Yep. Um, so, I'm just trying to break down what I saw here. So. We definitely saw extra O was just able to keep Pong off of stage for so long. You saw him always being ready with the shield, and that just sort of like gave Pong the signal like, okay, explosive flame is not going to work here. You are going to get blown up for it if you do that. So Pong might be a lot more hesitant to go uh, to commit to that end of the game. Huh. Did extra O drop the shield a little too early? I don't want to believe that auto radical broke through shield. Not, not through full shield. Like, it's a pretty cool projectile. It's not that good. Not that good. Like, Palutena poking a shield? Okay, I'll buy that. There oh we go, that's what God. I was expecting more of. Yeah, he has to be careful that he's only doing a standing or turnaround grab. If he commits to a dash grab, Young Link has more than enough time to be able to spot dodge and whiff punish that. It's going to be a very difficult battle for Palutena. Extra has played with so much momentum, so much fervor behind all of his play. Whether or not he was gonna sit back and put out the projectiles, yeah. or whether or not he's just Whoa. waiting to set what did up. I just like, see? Like, look at this. He it did a Z drop bomb into a fire arrow boomerang. That was so sick. That item, was cool. Item play is cool. Always, always appreciate item play. Okay, Zona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely. Don't 
Oh, the golly, let's actually, oh, has a stage control that he wants to get. Now, Pong dipped really low. I'm actually surprised that he was able to reach that. And actually, had the lead on the teleport cancel. But maybe he was trying to predict that Pong would have missed the ledge and drifted down to the sounding of the stage with that up smash. Regardless, I love the intent from Extra O. Pong keeping it so simple. I love that. He the just waited exactly. for Extra O to press a button. He's like saying, do it. Boomerang. Sure, I'll trade with the boomerang. You will die if you get hit by explosive flame right now. Pong has been doing very good at trying to keep a track of like what Extra O is doing once he's in the advantage so that he knows how to stop it. Like, keep in mind all these little interactions that have occurred off stage. Pong keeps on trying out new things every time he tries to edge guard Extra O. It's yep. giving him this information as he needs. And even though we've just seen two games of this so far, Pong is very slowly developing counterplay that's keeping the match much tighter. Because at this point in game one, Extra O had a very strong lead. You know, yep. SDI aside, you know, the SD aside. Like, Extra was playing like very confident in how well he controls space. Mm -hmm. Pong, meanwhile, keeping the battle a little tighter and definitely keeping, forcing Extra to keep a very tight zone. Like, yep. keep knowing how this battle's just been happening in the mid to close range. We haven't really seen a lot of strong zoning with max distance, fire arrows, bombs covering positions. Mm -hmm. And what I'd actually like to see from Extra O a little bit more is whenever he sets up a boomerang like into a forwarder, he has to be like really mindful of the fact that this could be a tech chase, uh, especially on stage like PS2 the Battlefield. But there's a platform directly above you. That's going to be the down tilt into the up air. I believe that's just like a DI check. Like, <laughs> he just grabbed him out of forward smash. Oh my god, if that would have been the up i I'm not sure if up would have converted into anything at that percent. It looked like Extra like initiated forward tilt. Forward tilt would probably kill, but up it definitely kills. Yep. Um, and the up only at 75%. And what I'm really, really surprised by is just... Yo, you run the heck! You run the spot back! Oh, Get it, All right. And I think Extra O knew that he was not coming back from that, that his up would not reach, so he just died. Like, like, you just saw him, like, he was able to live, but then he just drifted outwards a little bit more. Okay. The Apollo's Reflector is not, not nearly the demon that it used to be. Very odd to say in this game, given all the positive changes. But yeah, no, that is not the tool that yeah. uh, that's going to help Pong with closing the game. Wow, and Pong's up there is able to just smack that bomb back, like saying not, he's not having any of this today. Um, okay, fire, uh, just like... <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh my god, look at all these different... Like, I don't know how Pong is just able to maneuver around all these projectiles. I just love, like, actually, oh, just ability to know what he is looking for at any given percent. Good jump read. Let's see what happens. I love the aggressive landing, but Pong was able to call it out in time. <gasps> uh, had that been the back here, uh, that might have been the stock. Oh, he wanted it so badly. He's not dead just yet. And Extra O is just like making sure to keep his eyes open. Like anytime he sees Pong going low, he's like, okay, I'm going to up it immediately. Make sure I don't get hit by this new chill. Yo, we have the read, but he wasn't positioned right to cover the entire platform. Okay. Oh, God, Extra O was just like, maybe he, I think he could have just reacted to it, hit him with an up air, but regardless. Both of them playing around. Both of them are really, really high percents. The forwarder shifted his hurtbox in such a way that he would avoid the fire arrow, and that is the back air. Pong bringing it back from that really convincing right. game one from extra O. All right, we got ourselves into the game three. Now we have ourselves a classic Xeno ahead of us. This is best of five, by the way. Is, of course. But Pong wins the best of five. He's resetting a bracket. Yep. Extra O wins it. He's winning mm -hmm. the first ultimate Xeno Arcadian. There's a lot on the line here. Yeah, three hundred and sixty dollars for first place, I believe. That's pretty impressive. Something like that. Now for that's pretty yeah. good. That's pretty good guap to walk with. I, I I ran the I ran the calculations, but regardless, this regardless of that, either of these players are going to be coming out with a couple of extra dollars in their wallets today. Absolutely. But both of them, like they seem like, like both of them have like the same exact like like facial expressions and just like composure they have i've seen them all day this is as calm as i've seen actually oh, he was, like leaning in he's ready he's focused he's lost the second game of his day now let's see if he can lose his first set yeah that's, that's gonna be a much harder task especially as we bring ourselves onto kalos pokemon league for the next yep. match and um you know and i usually thought i thought that palutan and young link was a much more difficult matchup, but I'm really just surprised, not surprised, but I'm just really impressed by Extra's ability to really fend for himself. Now, I like the intentionality from Punk. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Never mind. I don't, no, that's, I completely that's ignorant. took back my words. That's yeah. ignorant as all hell. Like, I like the first one because he was thinking Extra was just gonna start off with Boomerang, which is normally a, a really classic opening. Um, either that or just to grab a bomb. 
but oh my god, extra oh I love that. He was reading the fact that is he gonna air dodge or is he gonna go down aggressively? And he was out of position to be even hit with like a falling forward out. Extra O's awareness to go with a charge boomerang instead of a, fo a forward out as he normally does. I love that adaptation. So good. He tries to go for it again, but this time Pong is ready. He's like, he's just ahead of the game. Ugh. The bomb popped back up by up air, and Extra O is like, yeah, I could combo off that. That's mine. That's still mine. Oh my god, Pong is at 162%. Just about anything can kill. A rising neutral will probably be the item of choice. For Lithio, not quite enough to kill me. Perhaps the next one close to ledge. Oh, with, uh, excellent conditioning. Great read on the All right. Like, at I that point, that like, Pong just had to sit there and hold it, but he rolled in impatiently. All right. Let's get okay, some faulty job. Nothing too, but crazy. And. Here's the thing, if he did a get up attack, would the returning boomerang have just like come back and hit him into the down air? There's a chance. There's a chance. There's a lot of setup that goes behind what Young Link is able to do. Especially while they're pressing a lot of buttons. Yeah. And oh my god. What oh is my this? He's amazing. just pressing neutral B and it's connecting and it looked all true. Oh my god, and that is going to be the falling back air. Like, classic. But, ah. Uh. This <laughs> actually was young, like, as we a little bit shook about. Uh, listen, if I got juggled by arrows, I'd be shook too. Like, it's just nasty. Although Pong finding a good use for auto reticle in the matchup, trying to contest space from the slew of boomerangs. Yep. Oh my god, such. <gasps> Yo, he just ran up and stood there? Like, he not only did he anticipate the air dodge, but he also anticipated the spot dodge afterwards. Maybe he was a little bit afraid of extra oath going out, like. Is that a down, down air? Beat out back air? I don't know, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> like, uh, don't get me these. wrong, I know a lot of people are, are justified in some of their complaining about Palutena, but that, that just wasn't right. Yep. And hey, either row, puts Pong on notice here on his last stock. No, I don't think he intended for the fully. Maybe he was anticipating like a dash back um, and just to maybe create a little bit of space between them, but not entirely sure what the intention was behind that fully charged explosive flame. The air dodge still not able to reach all the way through. Actually, I was able to. Now, oh, I that was such a good recovery. Yo, the wall jump into the, the bomb, knowing he was going to be close enough to the floor so that he could just tech it all away. Actually, I was nuts. What an amazing recovery. Oh my god, he almost connected that fire, uh, which would have surely connected into an up B afterwards. I just love that Exio just, like, he has so much, he knows what he is looking for. The Henry's just so percent. creative with the kit behind his character. And like, yeah, he's pressing a lot of buttons, but he's making it all work. Yep. Oh my god. What? Oh, and that oh was no! Almost the frame trap right there, but he was just slightly mispositioned, and that is going to be the explosive flame. That was perfect spacing. That was, that, you know what? The fire arrow landed right at Paolo's feet, mm -hmm. and Explosive Flame landed just That gets fine. a chef kiss. That's a, you know, that <laughs> that was really cool to look at. Um, and the, what just happened with the boomerang angle? Hey. It just reversed directions. Okay, I don't even want to get into the details of that. Yeah, it was weird. I think it like, hit, hit a tangential line with the shield. It was weird. All I know is that an amazing lead that Extra O had is slowly slipping away from him. Yep. Landing with Young Link is really, really difficult, and I think that was a great air dodge. Pong, maybe Pong was trying to read the fact that extra would be the. Oh, you're just no! Okay. Why would you do that, you dummy head? Oh, explosive flame is not the way, not that close to your opponent. Extra O notices that and takes that away immediately, forward smashing. And now, potential tournament point. This is this is game point. This is match point. Set All point. Right. A little bit, who, little bit who of tennis. Got, who we got? Ability. In Pong's corner, we got player four, Fruit, and Venia. Extra O? Nobody. He All really, really does not, he does not like it when people are behind him. He like, when he is playing, he just likes to be completely undisturbed. He just like wants, and then hugs and afterwards, everything comes later. He is his own coach. That's he got himself. A one-man army. Yep. And right now, this army seems to be taking a dominant lead in this battle. Marching along! The city, so, the city's rooting behind Extra O. Oh my god, and Pog just took the fattest hit of his vape that I have seen in a long time. That is the power up is what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> the hoots of a thousand owls are behind him. We can, only, we can only hope they give him the blessing to bring it forward.
as running things back to Stadium, I think, is a really good look for Pong. He played so well yeah. on the stage before. It's such a good stage for Palu. I love the fact that XO just opted to air dodge back onto ledge. You just saw him usually dipping low with an up B and perhaps going for the tether grab. So just like the good little good cover mix up is just forcing Pong to stay up on his uh, to to keep Pong on his toes. Um, uh, XO can now be missing those techs. Wow, we don't see Plaza down to the knock knock, but that is going to be the back here. And this is suddenly looking like a classic Paladinus out of 46%. Yeah, no, that was a lead. very dominant start to the match from Pong, but you can't be slipping. You, well, extra O is for you can't slip at all. Mm -hmm. You got to keep that momentum for the entire game if you're trying to take this to a game five. And right now you just see like Pong trying to break the space with dash and shield, but I feel like this might be the time to play back a little bit, just see what kind of buttons actually will press. He had the read on the air dodge in, but was unable to find a punish. I believe that would have been the down air normally, getting the phantom footstool, not what he anticipated at all. Uh, I think he did not intend to do this that at all. Yo, I'm realizing you only can get two nairs out in the short op, and that's not okay. Yeah, His character's not okay. Yeah. Why is Extra O like one of the only young links that we have? This is such a strong showing of his skill, but like, what is happening here? He's pressing buttons the right way. He's pressing buttons and he knows he can get away with criminal activity. Yep. Oh my god, that bomb was just beautifully placed, but. With the arrow right over it, too? And oh Kong just god. perfectly timed his neutral get up over the both of them. What kind of. Oh my god, and that is going to be the neutral air. All just one aerial is enough to get him stage control. That should also be so careful. That That's going to be the down throw. He cannot oh. DI in on that, because if you DI in, that is going to be the back air. Not sure why I actually wanted that. That's going to be the F throw. Ooh, punk. Almost really good DI. It. it kept him alive. Yep. And the aggressive explosive flame to press. Oh, oh all right. Woo. Just barely snapping for it. I and love how extra he's positioned in just the right place. But he just faltered on the execution of a little bit. Oh. He air dodged after he air dodged as soon as like he got hit by the neutral, making him completely susceptible to explosive flame. 182 percent. This is a Palutena with a lot of rage and a young link with no double jump and off stage. This is yep. That is going to be the stock, a three stock from Pong, just like that. After those dominating games from Extra O, Pong has managed to bring it all the way back. Yeah. Yeah, Pong! Where is all that goodness? Everywhere else! It Where has this Pong been? All my life! Alright, buddy. Game five, Dara. <laughs> you cannot do that kind of a shift in tone. You got me completely shook. <laughs> but. What do we got ahead of us? What do we have ahead of us? We have an extra O with victory on his lips and we have a punk who is just like like ready just to like fight like like tooth and nail to the very end ready to get the bracket reset this is a game five on losing side and through it up like like the little like masochistic side of me is like saying i want punk to win this so this goes to a game 10 so that we can have the most nail biting set of all time I, that's I want the game. Listen, one thing that anyone anyone who's listened to me for the longest time knows that I always want the longest game possible. Yes. I want the reset. I want the game ten. I want some good smash, and we are, are going to hopefully get it here in game five. Uh, I want to see the desperation on their faces as they just click like both of them, like just begging for the victory. Okay, that was a little bit. That was a little spooky. I'll, I'll relax a little bit. But regardless, oh my god, XO is just piling on the damage to stop 88%. Palutena is just unable to land or, or just like have any methods of getting in on Young Link. You just, you just see Pong getting hit by Boomerang, arrow, arrow, Boomerang, and also a couple of bombs here and there. And Young Link being so short, he's just able to run through the neutral air and low profile the whole thing. Gotta take advantage of every aspect of your character that you got. Pong, red. He was positioned perfectly for the tech end, but... He was just on top of extra. Oh, so unfortunate that that didn't come, that that did not connect. It's just like he's been forced to adapt so heavily throughout these four games, and that's the first time that we've seen the Zare to the ledge get punished. Yep, and like the neutral, that is oh my god, beautiful downing. But when you have something that's active, when you have something that's just like so potent. 
Why are you spot dodging? Look at him nodding. You oh know my god, look at that shit eating grin! What a monster! Bullying children on a live stream! Oh my god. Oh, you love to see it. You know what? He was like, he had the hardest speed in his head. He was like, I'm going to run up, I'm going to charge down smash, and that is going to be, once again, you cannot be dash grabbing Young Link after he hits your shield with up B. You have to either do a tuna gun grab or your fastest out of shield option. He's just going to spot dodge and with punish you. That is going to be neutral into a back at least third stage control. Oh my gosh. Young Link needs to get out of the corner, but the neutral B is going to be the, like, the, like, just the peel to be able to do it. The boomerang covering the tech in place. Yeah, okay. I love it. I love it. The down throw on the bomb just so he can mix up the timing and Extra. cover if Pong wanted to be grounded and aggressive. Extra's option coverage is like so absolutely Mensa. And then you just see Pong's brain becoming more and more wrinkly, more and more folded as he maneuvers his way around them. Yo, the foldiest boy of all the islands. Mm -hmm. A beautiful sight oh. to see, but Extra O oh, looking a little cleaner. Now Pong is on potential tournament stock. This could very well be the end of the night, but Extra, he's got kind of a difficult battle ahead of him. Pong has fought tooth and nail to make this an even fight. Yep. Beautifully placed explosive plane, but... <gasps> and he, he almost had, had a remix on it, too! Oh, I don't think he intended the after loop. Perhaps he was trying to lead one of the high recoveries that Extra O's uses, but that is going to be the upper power and only at 31%, a negligible percent, because all she needs to do is land falling forward or down throw anything, and that is going to lead into like 38% for her. Great call out. This auto reticle is coming in clutch so heavily for Pong! Because like, this is like a completely ch different change in pace. Oh my god, actually, oh, just directional air dodge against such a bold defensive option. I love it. That was such an aggressive approach. Oh my lord. He had the lead too. He had the lead, but unfortunately his tether grab was just a little bit too early. Axio has to be careful when he's spot dodging when Palutena has all of those ridiculously active multi-hits. Pong is completely caught on to Extra O's habit of spot dodging. Mm -hmm. But... Just getting away with that charge jab smash, and honestly, Young Link was in no position to punish out whatsoever. Right. The, the win box just oh. would have kept him nice and safe. I, that made me nervous. <gasps> we, forwarder would have done it. Forwarder would have done That's it so many times at this stage. point. That is the boomerang for the option coverage. That's scattered, buddy. You earned it. You earned it? All right. Here's a bound. Extra explodes. Oh. All right, you ready to see him launch out of the chair? Oh, oh with the stop. He's still oh, going. Look at it. My boy is not stopped. All right. I am literally. OK, he gets. You're shaking? No, no, no. Extra always shaking. Watch this. He lands it. He's got like, the classic cross chop. He gets the launch. Throws his fist pump. a couple of times. Look at that. All right. And the veins popping oh, out absolutely. of his neck. Oh, absolutely. We anime out here now. Oh, my God. All what right. A, that would have pop off. My heart, my heart jumped out. I was, I've never been so frightened in my life. That was a good set. That was an amazing set. <laughs> So good. And you just see Hugh in the background. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> Damn, okay. He's like, okay. <laughs> well. That was one of the coolest grand finals I've ever seen. Congratulations to Extra and all these amazing players that made it so far. SPT and Dre Charles and Ponk. And put Extra O able to like take first place at the Arcadian. All oh, of these players. Oh, just winner's side. Only dropping a couple of games the entire season. Well, three, three, three games. But three guys. Games. Thank you so much for watching Xeno Arcadian. I absolutely love Arcadian. You get these amazing so players fun. that you don't normally get to see so often. Now, hopefully, we see them return for the next event.